He texted me again and said that he found three baby bunnies, hours old. And look how itty bitty, guys. Oh my goodness. He's just sucking the milk down. He's moving his little lips right here. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, we have a very, very crazy day ahead of us. So the other night, I got a call. Actually, I got a text. I didn't get a call. I got a text that the guy that I got the three baby bunnies from, the newborn baby bunnies that had fur, their eyes were still closed, I bottle fed them, and they were on the channel. He texted me again and said that he found three baby bunnies, hours old, they have no fur, their eyes are closed, and these babies were just born. And he told me that the mom must have just gave birth to them and left them. Now, he has a lot of bunnies on his property, so obviously he can't locate exactly which mom gave birth to these babies, but there could be an underlying reason why the mom rejected these babies. They could be sick, she could have other babies, she was still nursing, there is a lot of possibilities, but he immediately called me and this is the photo he sent me. So there's three little babies. There's a pink one, which is gonna turn white. There's a paint one, which is gonna be white and black, and there's a black one. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be picking these babies up, we're gonna be bottle feeding them, and making sure they're all around healthy. So guys, without further ado, let's hop straight into today's video. So we just picked up the baby bunnies, and guys, I thought that before when I had the other baby bunnies that I was bottle feeding, that those babies were tiny. But you are not going to believe how tiny these babies are. They don't even have fur. They're in a box right next to me. Guys, another day, another rescue. It never ends. So we're going to just turn the camera around. All right, guys. So he gave us this little box right here. They're wrapped in a little shirt. And oh my goodness. Now there was three little babies that he found in the grass, literally just laying there. The mom was nowhere to be found. She just left her little babies after she gave birth. And unfortunately, one didn't make it. But there, there's two little fighting survivors. And look how itty bitty, guys. Oh my goodness. So there's one little baby right here. This is unreal. Oh my goodness. Now let me grab this little guy. Okay. Now it's good because they do feel warm at this age. They can't regulate their body temperature. So it's good that they feel warm. They have each other to keep themselves warm. Oh my goodness. Let's put him in the light. <gasps> we have a little black bunny. Oh my goodness. This little guy is so, so tiny. But you can see they don't even have any fur. And I can see it seems like they have something on their skin. But I can't really investigate right now. We're going to have to investigate that once I get home. So we're going to put this little guy back. There you go. There you go with your sibling. We're going to cover them up. We got the heater on the seat. We got to make sure these babies stay nice and warm for the car ride home. And guys, it is going to be around the clock care for these little babies. They're going to be eating quite a lot through the day, through the night. And we're also going to have to stimulate these babies because they can't even pee or poop because they're so, so tiny. Guys, we're going to have to rush home. We got to make sure we get these babies on milk. I don't even think the mom let them nurse. She just literally gave birth to them and took off. But thankfully, they're in good hands. Hopefully, these babies make it. And guys, I'll catch you all once we get home. So guys, we've made it home and we have to get these bunnies ready. I mean, they only have a t-shirt in here. So we got some bedding right here. Thankfully, my grandma ran to the store as I was picking these babies up. So we are going to be making a mom-like nest box because in the wild, these babies will be burrowed in the ground in a nest full of fur, full of hay. And that's exactly what we're trying to replicate right here. But we're going to look at these babies because I got to make sure, I think I spot a little blood, but we want to make sure these babies are okay. So we're going to pick up the first little baby right here. All right, guys, we got to inspect this little baby. It just has a bunch of little dirt on it. I don't know if you can see it on this side right here. Don't mind the puppy screaming in the background. Oh, my gosh, guys, is this a cut? I think that looks like dried blood right there. I'm not sure if he's cut. He seems to be okay, but we definitely need to clean that off and see what's going on. So let's check him right here. Guys, you can see he still has his, a little bit of his umbilical cord. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to put this little baby back down. Grab the second baby and see if this little one's okay. You can see there's a bunch of dirt on him as well. Let's turn him around. He's looking good. A little umbilical cord, and you can see there's a bunch of dirt in his nose. The mom must have given birth in dirt, or he was foraging around in the dirt. So we're going to clean that out as well. But we must get these babies into their nest box. So we're going to pick these babies up. We're going to put them in my lap right here. All right, guys. Let's open up this bedding, okay? Now, a little bedding goes a long way, so we're going to grab a little chunk. Okay, let's hold it over so it doesn't spill. 
and we're just gonna start pouring it on in. We're gonna have to break it up as we go. But we want these babies to be as comfortable as possible and feel like the mom is really taking care of them. We wanna make sure they feel safe and secure and they don't get stressed out. Of course, we don't want stressed out babies and we want to make sure these babies will survive. Since the third baby, unfortunately, did not make it. So we're just going, we're going and okay. So if you guys take a look right here, we have a good amount of bedding, but we're just gonna go ahead and break this up. But honestly, I think I'm gonna fill this entire box full of bedding so these babies are able to burrow in there like they would do with their nest. So guys, once we have this filled, I'll be back with you to put our bunnies in. And we got all of the bedding in here. We of course didn't fill it to the top because you can see we have enough. If you guys come take a look right here, these babies will be able to burrow to China, literally. So they have enough space and enough area to move around and get comfortable and it's going to feel like the real nest, but we're just making sure that all the pieces are broken up. Okay, I think it's good guys. It's time to add our babies. So we're gonna pick up this shirt right here. Okay. We're gonna reveal our little babies. Oh my goodness, yeah guys, I do think that's a little cut, but we're not gonna mess with it right now because these babies need milk. So we're gonna add our first baby in in three, two, and there you go, little buddy. Okay, let's add the second little baby in. There we go. And what we wanna do is we wanna bury them in just a little bit, and there we have it. Now guys, you may think, what the heck, Hannah? They are gonna suffocate. But this is exactly what they do in the wild. The mom literally builds a nest in the ground. She puts a bunch of stuff in there to make it nice and cozy for her babies. So it's nice and warm. They're nice and protected when she's gone. Off looking for food. So you can see these babies, they are loving it. They're nestling around, guys. Look, this is precious. I've never seen such tiny little baby rabbits. These little guys are to die for. So what we're gonna do right now, since of course this box is not underground, my garage is AC'd and we don't have other siblings to keep them warm, we're gonna be plugging a heating lamp in. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put our little babies right here. You guys are gonna watch the box and I'm gonna plug it in. In three, two, and there we have it. So you can see we put a heating lamp right here. It's not too close, it's not too far. It's going to be perfect for making these little babies nice and warm. And hopefully these babies will have a chance of survival. But now that we got them in their new home, we got them in their nest box, we're gonna head to the kitchen and make some formula. So now guys, it is time to make some formula. The bunnies have grown quite a bit. Their eyes are still closed, but of course the most important thing is to make sure our babies are happy and healthy. So we're gonna make some new formula. Of course, we got our kitten milk. Now guys, if you did not know this, orphaned baby bunnies will drink kitten milk. That's why we have the Pet Lack kitten milk replacer right here. We have our jar, we're gonna be mixing this up. We have our little bowl that we're gonna be putting our milk in and feeding our baby bunnies. And of course, we have our purified water because we don't wanna be using sink water. We don't know what they're putting in the water. Sometimes they put chlorine to clean it and chlorine is ultimately going to hurt this little baby's gut. So we wanna make sure they're getting the best of everything. So guys, we're gonna just open our jar on up. Okay, we got our formula already open. So you can see it's a white powdery goodness right here. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be some good formula for our little babies. We're gonna even it out right here. So we have one scoop of formula. Let's put it on in. All right, we have it. So every one scoop of formula, you're gonna do two scoops of water. So let's go ahead, open our water on up. And we're almost done. Let's pour our water. So we got one and two. There we have it. And that's literally it, guys. It's very, very simple. So all we're gonna do is screw the cap on tight, give it a nice mix until it's evenly distributed. And we got it nice and mixed up. Now our baby bunnies are very, very tiny, so they're not gonna be drinking that much. So all we're gonna do is pour a little bit in. And that is going to be perfect for our little baby bunnies. Honestly, I don't even think that they're gonna finish all of this. I take warmed up water right here. We're gonna pour it into the bowl. Now this is not warm, this is actually probably scalding hot. But <laughs> we're gonna take our bowl of milk right here and we are going to put it in our water and it's going to float on top. And then we're gonna carry it into the garage. We're actually keeping these baby bunnies. And over time, it's going to get nice and warm. It's going to get to the perfect temperature. Now, we can't feed these babies milk that is too hot because they'll ultimately burn their esophagus. And we can't give them the milk too cold because they won't be able to digest the milk if it's too cold. Now, we got the milk ready. We got our syringe ready. So guys, we have everything ready. So let's head to the garage. 
So before we're able to feed these little babies, we must weigh them because according to how much they weigh is how much we're going to feed them. Now, not only can you calculate how much to feed them by weighing them, but by weighing them every single day before you feed them, you are seeing if they're gaining weight or if they're losing weight. Now, if they're losing weight, you know they're not eating enough or there could be another underlying reason. They could be sick and that could be a great indicator to tell whether they are sick or whether they're healthy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this to the side actually so you guys can see. We're gonna turn it on. We gotta wait till it gets to zero, all right? And it's at zero, so it's at grams, so that's perfect because there's no way that these little babies weigh a pound. So we're gonna pick up the first little baby right here. Here we go, little guy. And we're just gonna place him right on a scale. Let's see how much he weighs. And he weighs, what does it say? 48.3 grams and when we first got these babies they literally weighed about 15 grams so these babies have grown so so much so we're gonna put this little baby back grab the second one see how much he weighs let's see where he is okay let's grab this little guy right here all right the second little baby is going on and he weighs oh my goodness guys he's a lot bigger he weighs about 50 57.2 grams oh my goodness we have a little growing bunny rabbit right here these little guys are growing so so much but now that we got their weight we know that they are growing well and these babies are nice and healthy it's time to feed them we have everything ready to feed them but before we get into feeding them i just want to show you guys how much they've grown so i filmed them about three four days ago when we first got them they were only a couple hours old and it's crazy how much fur these little babies have grown in only about three or four days. So we're going to pick up the first little baby in the box. You can see they're still in this little box right here. We have the first little baby right here, guys. Now they're still really itty bitty. We got to make sure we have them supported. But just look. Look how much this little baby has grown. He's one of the little chunkers right here. But just look at the comparison. Look how much fur this little baby has. It is absolutely insane. And guys... I think he's peeing on me. Yeah, guys, he just peed on me. My hands are literally covered in pee right now. Now you can see this guy is sniffing around. He's looking for a nipple right now. Now they are amazing eaters. At first they are pretty tricky because obviously it's a different nipple than what the mom has and it's different milk. But what we had to do when we first got them and it's always good to check to make sure these babies are not dehydrated. You just pinch the back of their skin like this and you see if the skin goes down immediately, that means they're hydrated. And if it goes down very slowly, it means they're dehydrated. So this guy looks very hydrated and he is moving around looking for a nipple. So we're gonna go put him back until we're ready to feed him. And we're gonna grab the next little guy right here. You can see he's tucked away. Oh my goodness. Let's grab his little legs to support him. <gasps> Look at this little bunny rabbit. Now you can see they have a lot of skin to grow into, but this little guy has a lot of fur as well. You can see he's growing so good too. And look at, he's just sleeping in my hand, guys. Let's go, let's do the pinch test. And he looks pretty good, guys. Look at that, oh my goodness. He just pooped in my hand, guys. Mm. Oh, this, this, is, this is disgusting. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna suck the milk up in the syringe. Now we're gonna suck it up about to two mLs like this. We're gonna put it right there. We're gonna pick up our first little baby and we're gonna feed this little the little black one right here. Okay, guys. Let's go. Let's do this. Make sure we grab him. And we just want to support him just like this because bunnies do wiggle around a lot when you are bottle feeding them. So you want to make sure you have a good grip on this little guy right here. We're going to find his little mouth, guys. Look. He knows the nipples here. Oh, my goodness. We're going to start squeezing it in very, very gently. And you can see he... Is just sucking the milk down. He's moving his little lips right here. Now we want to go very, very slow because we don't want to aspirate these babies. Now, guys, if you don't know what aspirating is, that is when the little babies will choke on the milk and it will actually come out of their nose and it will get in their lungs. And eventually, over time, if this keeps happening, they will develop pneumonia and it will be fatal. So we got to make sure we got to go very, very slow, go at this little baby's pace. I mean, you can see I'm barely pushing any in, but he... It's just absolutely loving it. Look at this little baby. Oh my goodness. Is that some good milk? And this little baby is almost done with his milk. He's taking the last couple sips right here and he is a pro eater. I mean, look at him. He is just sucking this milk on down and he is 
done look at that so he has a little milk mustache right here but this li little baby did absolutely amazing we're gonna wipe his little mouth right here and look at that guys he is just gonna go right to sleep in my arms now let's take a look at his little tummy you can see we have a little fat little bunny tummy right here this little baby is nice and full and he is ready to go back to sleep now with these little babies you also have to stimulate them but clearly just by being in my hands these babies were stimulated we're gonna try to stimulate them again but we're going to feed the other little guys so we're gonna put this little baby on back right into his little thing and you're gonna see he's just gonna nestle on in he's gonna literally bury his face in and he just pushes himself right on in back into the bedding where he feels nice and secure guys look at that he literally just shot down there you can see the other little bunnies right here and it's great that they have each other so they can keep each other warm but you can see he is fast asleep he is not moving an inch okay we got our syringe so we're gonna grab the little baby right here we have the second little bunny rabbit right here ready to eat so we're just gonna hold him the same exact way until he feels nice and supported He's already, guys, look at him. He can smell the milk. Let's see if he's going to grab the nipple. Sometimes we have to help him because they don't know how to grab it just yet. Come on, little buddy. I got the milk right in front of you. And just like that, he is latched onto the nipple, and he is just sucking it down. You can see we have to go very, very slow with him as well. But I don't know if you guys can see, but these little babies' eyes are still closed. Now, up until they're about a couple weeks old, their eyes are going to stay closed like this. That's actually how they're born. That's how kittens are born. That's how puppies are born. And when their eyes start to open, they're not going to be fully developed. They're not going to be able to see that well. But it's amazing just to see the process of these babies growing big and strong every single day. I mean, look at this little guy. He is doing so good. Is that good milk? Oh, my goodness. And, guys, this little baby has finished his syringe. So you can see he also has a little milk mustache right here. He's actually a lot calmer. I don't know if you guys can see. But let's take a look at his little bunny tummy and this little guy is nice and full he is looking nice and plump and he looks like he is going to go right to sleep isn't that right oh my goodness guys look at him i think he just fell asleep in my hands so we're gonna do the same exact thing we're just gonna put this little baby back into his box right here and you can see he's gonna do the same exact thing he's crawling back down and you can't even see the other bunny right here if you see this little area moving right here this is where he is let's go and see if we can see him <gasps> He's all nestled in there. He is nice and cozy. And these babies are nice and fed. So guys, now that we fed these babies, their little bunny tummies are full, we're gonna have to stimulate them. So guys, before we stimulate these little babies right here, I wanna show you their umbilical cord. Now, of course, when we first got these little babies, you could see their umbilical cord quite some bit, but it's gone down a little bit, but it's still there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but their umbilical cord is right there. I don't know if you can see that little dot right there where my nail is. But that is their umbilical cord. So within the next couple days, it is going to fall off. But with puppies, with kittens, with any animal that has an umbilical cord, you cannot pull it off. Now, if you pull it off, it won't heal properly and actually open up their stomach. So you must let it heal on its own. It will fall off on its own. So guys, don't worry. So we have our warm little napkin that's nice and wet. So we're just going to get this baby in a position like so. And you can see we're just going to go ahead and very lightly just stimulate this baby. Now, we don't want to go too rough because we don't want to hurt this baby at all, but just enough to where he's going to pee. All right, guys, I don't think he's going to pee. I think he peed when he was in my hand. Let's see. We're going to give him a couple more seconds. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they've actually started to use the bathroom in here. You can see there's a bunch of discolored white bedding right here that's actually yellow. That is their pee. So we must clean it out constantly, make sure they have a nice sanitary area. But the reason they're peeing on their own is because when they're moving around, that is actually stimulating them. Now, when they're this little, they can't use the bathroom on their own. So they need some assistance up until they're a couple weeks old. The same as puppies and kittens. But you can see this little baby is nice and content. He went to the bathroom and he's nice and full. So we're going to put you back right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has some long, long whiskers as well. They're almost microscopic. You got to look very, very closely, guys. But they have a million whiskers on their face. So we're going to put him back right here. And grab the second little baby. Now look, we gotta dig for him. We're gonna cover that one up. Last time we put him, he was in this corner right here. And look at that, guys. Those are his ears right there. He is so content. I'm sorry, little baby. He must stimulate you. So we're gonna pick this little baby up right here. Let's check if he has an umbilical cord or if it fell off. Yeah, guys, you can see it a lot better on this one because he's a lighter color. But you can see that little dot right there. 
is an umbilical cord. So now that you got to see his umbilical cord, let's hold him up. And he already peed in my hand. The other one pooped, so I'm not even sure if this little guy is going to poop right here. We're just going to try to stimulate him. All right, guys. Let's see. And I'm not seeing anything. This little baby peed already, so he does not need to use the bathroom as well. But just look at him. He is so, so little. Let's see if we can see his whiskers as well. His whiskers are a lot lighter. You have to focus very, very well. Look at him. He's so cute. Look at that little bunny nose. So we got both the little baby bunnies in my hand. And you can see they are fast asleep. They're just nestled away right here. And I honestly can't wait to see how adorable these little babies are going to get when they get a little bit older. Honestly, I don't think it can get any cuter than this. These babies are so, so tiny. I mean, look at them. But guys, that's going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, saving these babies without a mom, with no chance of survival, we'll give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, what I want you to do right now is comment down below a little name for these guys. I don't know if they're a boy or a girl, but we have one white one and we have one black little baby right here. Now guys, if I like your name, I'm going to shout you out in the next video. And if you want to see these little babies grow up in other crazy animal videos, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.